Starship front. Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Hey, Bosco. What? No Barrett? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. This is better I'll ever win. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? Place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. You could have done just about anything. So it's important to me that you feel valued here. Sorry! Are days that are tough, sure. But if I weren't here, all I did was just press the trigger once to pull out the weapon and it just shot. So, uh, note to self don't press the trigger unless you want to shoot. It's time to actually play the game. Ah, oh, what's happening? Oh, ah! Any clue how irresponsible you're acting right now? <laughs> yes, I do. And you're not gonna stop me. I am the most irresponsible person in this game, and you will find that out the hard way. How, how did you get down here so easily? Just gonna go along the side. I can't jump. There we go. What? Jump over it. Oh, there's a platform here. And the stairs. That hurts my heart. You see that scientist out in front of Mast? Staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Another day, another shift. Hey there. Oh, okay, you have something to say to me, but then when I go to, like, respond, you're like... What? I didn't say anything. So, uh, another space explorer. Are you good, bro? Oh my god, that is the most kill me groans I've ever heard. It is so sad. The robot is in pain. I'm sorry. Another loser. Oh. You're under arrest. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to talk to that thing because hearing that thing makes me sad. Tell me that that doesn't sound like it's in pain. I'm tempted to press the button. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's pride in... Hey, where are you going? The show's just started. A direct violation of the Nereon Okay, suit yourself. 
Okay, here's the thing. I saw Nero when I was in the other uh, solar system. So I know where it is, I think. No one knows how they move between planets. I wonder if they can grab jump or something. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. What is it? I'm sorry, I need to do not touch. That's not a name. A real terramorph. Oh, that's a ter that's a terramorph? The ones I saw were like little snakes. So that's a fully grown terramorph, huh? I bet you those are gonna be like the strongest enemies in the game. Instead of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. Londinian found itself overrun by one the of the galaxy's most mysterious Shh. predators. I'm trying to admire the art. Do you agree to the above commitment and wish to initiate your journey with United Colonies Vanguard? Man, where am I going to find all that stuff? I did it! I forgot I was playing a freaking Bethesda game, okay? Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! Target defeated! Target defeated! Okay. I guess I can't push it a little bit. Come on, come back! Stop running away! Why can't I lock on? I don't think I can repair anymore. Halting simulation. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to lock your results. So, looking at the data? Hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the van. Also just like backstory. Highly. Is it nighttime? So what are we doing here today? Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard? Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Now, here's my question. What happens if I do this oath and then I end up committing a crime? Will that completely fuck up my save, or will I be fine? Whatever. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Ooh. Oh, but wait. Hold on. I need to go back to my missions. Wait, hold on. Head down to the spaceport and speak to... Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. <laughs> what? Haven't. What just happened? Come on, John. Let's hear it before you try to convince him to join the Marines. What is happening? Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. A Sol what? Which admiral we keep teleporting to back to the main building. He's Martian. <laughs> They're all race. facing away from Not me. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Sol system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. The hell? Out of my way, I'm very important. I'm from the Vanguard. Of all the by things- Vectera, By Vectera, by Vectera, I can't believe it. Is it you? Is it really, really you? 
Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining, star of stars. I just joined. How old are you? Do you already know me? Literally this. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. This is a, an adoring fan. I, I this is... Things. Not that you're hard Oof. to see with that halo on your head. This is obsession. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. Oh, that would have been a bad but thing. I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. Here I am. It's almost like it was meant to be. It's definitely not. Oh, yes. Normally, I start my day by drinking four cups of coffee and stuffing my face with chunks. Four cups but of I coffee? Inspired by your story, I thought to myself, what would the great and powerful hero of Vectera do? And so instead, I went for a jog. I ran and I ran and I ran, picturing you in the distance, like a North Star. It's obsession. Imagine my surprise to find oh, you it's so uncomfortable. By the light of Polaris, it must be fate. Oh, man. Me too. I was minding your business as well. <laughs> dreaming it and tending to it like a garden in bloom. And now, here it is. Our first spring. Won't you need a costume? Good point. I'll start working on it. Can I, like, away. keep, like, I learn how to sew. staying like that Do bottom you, option to keep changing things about this? Training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? If not, <laughs> I can start one. <laughs> you know what? Do it. Start one. Uh, I'm starting to regret this, but okay. He's gonna make me regret that, isn't he? Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Okay, well if you don't like it, then get out. Because that's how ships work. And off we go. Everybody ready? So entering a new solar system always scans. You're cleared to land. How how would I ever be able to get contraband across the galaxies then? If, if there's got to be ways to get around the scans. AF As the hero of Vectera, AF you need your own comic Shut up AF your own cartoon your own theme song I need to make I I need you to shut up for 5 seconds watch the ship while we're gone come on let's go It's the only decent place in town what? to grab a drink Ah I need my sh ship I, I forgot that I'm not wearing my suit Move. Serving drinks, not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. There's a, all you have for whiskey is in a juice box. Fine, whatever. I'll take my juice box whiskey and leave. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you I'll a truther. Both of you out of this bar right now. Oh please, two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. 
Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds ominous. <laughs> the facial reaction, like, ominous. Can you take your fandom up a notch? I feel like you've been slacking lately. <laughs> You could literally make him become more obsessed. That was a good talk. Okay. Easy enough. Hail the star yard. No answer. That sucks. <laughs> 